Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have well, some we fun. We got a cool little project coming up here. Uh, this guy, oh, about a month ago, contacted me. One of my viewers, in fact, contacted me and said uh, that he bought a Monarch lathe from an estate sale, and uh, and it had a messed up uh, compound screw. And uh, of course, it was an old lathe. Uh, I can't remember what he said, 30s or 40s, something like that. And, you know, they don't make parts for those anymore. So uh, he said, hey, can you make me the a new compound uh, screw? And I said, absolutely. So uh, he uh, sent me some paperwork and uh, we kind of negotiated back and forth till we came up with uh, something that was workable for both of us. And now I'm going to get started. Uh, so this is the project, and uh, I don't know, yeah, you can see it. So you can see it, uh, it's an Acme thread, uh, right hand, which is nice, and then uh, it's got a little, what would you call that, sleeve to it, uh, and then a couple of specific shaft sizes and a reduction size, and then I need to make the nut also, and the nut is in brass, and this... I'm going to make in 12L14. So, uh, pretty straightforward project. Uh, I think we should just get started. What do you think? All right, let's do it. All right, that looks pretty good. Our uh, nut is uh, an inch and 500 and is that nine thousandths? Five hundred nine thousandths. It's an odd size, but you know I've had otter or more on or <laughs> let's see what we can come up with here. And the size of the of the round is seven hundred and seven seven hundred and forty nine thousandths. Another odd number. All right, let me just bang this off a little bit. Because even though it's not much, every little bit of brass is, uh, I've just poured into a bucket and at some point or another, we're going to go cash that baby in. Let me get this a little bit more angled and we are ready to rip. and a half. Yeah, that'll do. Get some glasses so I can see and a micrometer so I can measure. So we're at eight hundred and twenty five thousandths. We're pretty good. That was 
was 40,000, so now we're at 700 and 75, 85 thousandths. And we want to go to 749.5. So we got 30 to go. You know, and it looks like maybe this isn't going to cover it. So I'm thinking, let's bring this out a little further. Hmm. Might be better to come in from this direction. Here's an inch and a half. All right. Seven fifty four. So we got four thousandths seven forty nine five. Let's do this officially. All right, we've got four thousandths to take off. Let's see if we can get this in just a little bit closer. So we're going to take two. Well, we may have taken too much there because my needle jumped as soon as it kicked into gear. Yep, took too much. All right, well, start again. And luckily, I've got a bunch of this material. It 
inch and a half. No problem. All right, we're at 751, 750 and a half. And we need to come down to 749 and a half. So I think we're going to go ahead and hit this with the file. We gotta take 1,000 off. Just barely a kiss. There it is. Okay. That's that for that. That's our first measurement. I'm going to go ahead and knock this corner down. bit more there we go and one five oh nine weird that looks good on the end so Let's go ahead and knock some of these chips off of here. Take a cut. Just to square it up and get in position. Now, take our dial indicator and bring it to zero. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, an inch and a half. That's going to be, might be beyond my 
the scope of my indicator. It kind of looks like it. So, no, oh, <laughs> let's get a a uh, cutoff tool in here first thing out the gate. Square it up. That's not square. That's interesting. That's square. All right. Now, we're touching there. We're going to add the width of our blade. Right at a hundred thousands. Take the dial indicator to zero. Bring this back. So we're going to go one inch, one hundred thousands. Okay. One inch, one hundred thousands. There's that I didn't like that. It didn't start correctly. There's contact. There's zero. There's hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five. Six. We're going to go to seven hundred thousandths. Okay, let's go to eight. And then reset. Okay, there's nine. And there's one inch, one, two, three, four, five, and nine hundred nine thousand five oh nine. Okay. All right, 
Get rid of that. And we can come in. We might even be able to come in with the. Nope. Now well, we're going to be a little short there, too. Looking for an inch and a half and nine thousandths. Okay. there okay let's add a hundred thousandths to that the thickness of our of our gauge take that out And we are at zero on both sides. Now we want to go 250 in. One, two, thirty, forty, five. 50. All right, we're going to uh, come in with a half inch bit because our measurement is 250 to 250 to the center. And uh, so that's, you know, half inch. Now we've come in a little shy because I think what we want to do is take two passes, a, a cutting pass and a cleanup pass. And 6, 9, 10 is our measurement from 750. Okay, so we're going to come in. We're going to come down until we touch. And we're going to make sure that we're where we're supposed to be. Okay, that's not going to work. Bring it out a little further. And we're looking at 691. 698. And we want to come down to 691. So that's 
seven thousandths. Take it up seven. Um, there's seven. And then we're going to take it in back to zero. And that should give us what we're looking for. Six nine one. Okay, I believe my drill size is going to be a quarter inch as the drill size for the tap. But we're going to run it down and see how it goes. And for this, I want to do a tap follower and do it by hand. I don't know, it doesn't look, doesn't look real promising, but maybe. Give her, a, give her a rip and see what we can come up with. Okay, we made it to there and it's really binding up heavy. So I think what I'm going to do is go a couple more sizes larger than that quarter inch. We'll take it real slow. We'll just go one size at a time. Okay, we made it. Not bad. We'll be back. 